And today marks the start of the 50th annual Pride Month celebration here in Seattle. To kick off the festivities, thousands of people flock to Capitol Hill for one of this month's largest Pride events, Seattle Pride in the Park. King 5's Brady Wakayama shows us the sights and sounds from Volunteer Park. Baby's got secrets he doesn't confide. We want people to be accepted for who they are, um, no matter who you love, and um, know that it's okay to be your most authentic self. An authentic welcoming on full display at Pride in the Park. We're able to be out here celebrating and letting people know that we're not going anywhere. Um, it's the most important thing, and that creates change for everyone out here. Change that started during the Stonewall Inn raid in New York in 1969. It's that rebellion, officials with Seattle Pride say, inspired and incited an LGBTQ movement that made its way around the world, eventually arriving right here in Seattle, sparking the creation of Seattle Pride, a nonprofit that's been going strong for the last 50 years. So grateful to the people who were the, who began Pride in 1974, and also we're excited to look ahead to the future for what it means for LGBTQIA people and our rights. The first Pride event only had 200 people. Now, five decades later, this event has more than 12,000 people flooding Volunteer Park. I want to celebrate everyone here, and I feel like the more we're able to come together, we can increase that from 12 to 15 to 20 um, and continue to do what we do. Pride in the Park is just the beginning to a month filled with 75 other Pride celebrations in Seattle alone, capping off with the Pride Parade, one of the largest in the country. We see you and love you, and, and I think that this kind of event where you can see just joy and celebration tells you everything you need to know about the LGBTQ community. Reporting in Seattle, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.